Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Very good. Just on time. Okay, eight o'clock. It's time to turn on your cameras. Don't forget, I really need to see you. Okay, cameras on all the time. So I can see Samuel, Carmen Guadalupe, Claudia, Catherine, Carmen, Nereida. There you go. Cameras on, please. Very good. I can see Marina. There you go. Teacher, todavía voy en camino hacia mi casa. Ok, gracias por avisarme, amigo. Eh, ¿La puedo tener apagada o la dejo así? Yes, está bien. Gracias por avisarme. Okay, gracias. ¿Los demás? Okay. ¿Cómo estamos? Cameras on, please. No había. Hola, hola, I teacher. Hi, del mi día. Solo tres minutitos y enciendo la cámara. Solo estoy terminando algo rapidito. Perfecto. Perfecto. Estamos bien. Muy bien, Stacy. Gracias por informarme también. Solo Stacy, Amilcar. Y Delmi. Los demás, ¿cómo estamos? Cámaras. Bien, mientras empezamos, cámaras encendidas, ¿ok? No olvidemos, siempre en cada sesión, desde la 1 hasta la sesión número 16 y todos los niveles que tengamos, siempre se nos va a exigir lo mismo, ¿ok? Cámaras encendidas, participación activa y... De igual manera, pues las ganas de aprender. Empezamos dos minutos ya. Creo que ya todos estamos casi conectados. Ok, let me see Ingrid. Ah, muy bien. Muy bien, gracias por informarme Ingrid también. Siempre es bueno que también dejemos constancia, evidencia en el chat de WhatsApp, el chat grupal. Recuerden que ahí también los chicos de administración están pendientes de revisar. Eh, soporte técnico también, así que cualquier cosa escribamos en nuestro chat para que quede constancia de que no solo informaron con la teacher, sino que también informaron pues a los de eh, la academia también. So, let me start right now. ¿Recuerdan qué sesión estamos ya? ¿Qué clase vamos ya? Yes. Fourteen. Fourteen. So it means that on Thursday we are going to have the last class from this one, from this uh, level. Okay. ¿Qué significa? Pongámonos al día con la plataforma también. Vamos ahora a revisar a quienes les haya dado problemas cualquier sección, eh, cualquier ejercicio de alguna sesión en específico. Para que podamos resolver eso, ok? So, session 14. Empecemos ahorita. Here we go. Okay. Solo estoy viendo mi lista de asistencia. Ok, estoy lista. Pasamos la asistencia en unos dos o tres minutos, ok? Ya veo que tenemos 21, 21 listos. Y aquí vamos. So look, for this class, we're going to have the same section number five. I can't I skate very well. So this is session number 14. Uh, remember that this is class number 14, okay? So we are still missing some topics that we are going to conclude this coming Thursday. So class, it's really nice to have you here. Are you ready to start the lesson? Section number five, the exercises for today, yes or no? Are we ready to start the class? Yes, no, I want to listen to you. Yes. Yes, yes. right? Yes, yes right. Too. Remember, we only have one yeah. hour and time flies, okay? So let's take advantage of time. So the topic for today is the model 
can't. We are going to express ability. What you are good and bad at doing. For example, in my case, I'm not good at singing or dancing because it's not what I like to do. And I can, I cannot swim very well. So those are like abilities that I need to practice more so I'm able to complete that, right? So lo primero que hacemos siempre es go. Let's go and check the platform. So we can take a look at the content that we have there and watch the videos that we are ready to share with. Here we go. So look, así estamos ya. Vamos con section number five. I can't skate very well. Y nos habíamos quedado. Veamos en qué parte íbamos. Revisemos siempre los objetivos y revisemos siempre también qué es lo que vamos a aprender al final de cada sección. This one, Sports and Seasons. Yesterday we were practicing about this. Este fue nuestro vocabulario de ayer. Sports and Seasons. And look at this one. WH questions. Yesterday, the same. We were practicing about WH questions. También tuvimos esta práctica. So, it means that you have already completed this one. So, we are ready to move to lesson objective 5.5. This is it. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using can and can't. O al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen puedo y no puedo. Este verbo, este auxiliar, can and can't. Okay? Veamos cómo lo hacemos. Here we have the short videos. ¿Ya lo vieron? Repasemos el contenido. Si no, aquí está para ustedes. Here we go. And practicing. I would like to encourage... Okay, here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. So if you notice, this is just pronunciation. Above and the word, you can see. He's making a very important comment. Pronunciation in English is not easy. It's not easy. So if it's not easy, it means that we need to practice a lot. So look at this one. We have this example here about can, something that we can do and can't, mm -hmm. an ability that we don't have. Can and can't, can and can't. If you notice, he was giving us a tip that we can follow when we want to make a distinction. Si queremos hacer una distinción, si me está diciendo can't o me está diciendo can't, hacia esto. Y es bien fácil de 
Recordar, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer nosotros una extension in the sound. Extension. Look at this one. Aquí está. Can and can't. I can't. This trick can also help well. with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic. And it... Okay, it's not an easy topic. So, whenever we have an affirmative sentence, in this case, let's write the same, okay? I can think. And we have the negative one, I can't. I can't think very well. I can sing very well. Si notan la diferencia, clase. Es más extendida la pronunciación cuando nosotros estamos hablando de negativo. Para afirmativo con el can, lo hacemos más corto, ¿ok? I can sing very well. I can't sing very well. One more time. I can act, but I can't think very well. Can and can't. ¿Está clara esta parte? ¿Podemos pasar a la práctica? Can and can't. Can yes. and can't. Yes. yes, right? So look at this one. This is the example that we have. And it's the same. Es lo mismo para interrogative as well. Look at this one. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing at all. We can sing at all. And they can sing at all. Si se fijan, algo muy importante. Para este verbo, aunque estemos usando he, she, and it, no va a cambiar. Ok, es can para todos nuestros eh, pronombres o sujetos en este caso. I, you, he, she, we, and they. Todos los que tenemos I, you, we, and they, he, she, and it, van a ser can or can't. No así para el simple present, que ahí sí tenemos siempre que tener cuidado con la tercera persona. En este caso, no cambia. Afirmativo can, negative can't. So those are the examples. If you look at the second information chart, we have the example for interrogative. Interrogative. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can she sing? Can he sing? Can we sing or can they sing? And the answer is the same. We just say yes for affirmative and no for negative. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, she can. No, he can't. Yes, we can. And so on, okay? So, en este caso, no es tan difícil el uso de este verbo porque no cambia, no varía con la tercera persona, okay? And the last information, look, we have these examples right here. What can I do? Who can sing? Okay. Podemos también mezclar el verbo con a WH questions. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Becky can't. Okay. So in this case, si se fijan. Tenemos la respuesta completa. No sería, yes, she can't. ¿Por qué? Porque nos está preguntando quién. ¿Quién puede cantar? Becky puede. Becky puede. ¿Ok? Esa sería la respuesta corta. O nuestra respuesta larga. Becky can sing. ¿Ok? Becky can. Who can ride a bike? I can't. They can't. And so on. Pero para que no nos quedemos solo con esta información, look at the practice, the practice that we have here. Look at these people. I have some pictures. Let me see. Six different pictures. Six different pictures. So we can take a look at these pictures. 
and identify. Can or can? ¿Qué será que pueden hacer? ¿Tienen habilidad para hacerlo o no? Miren, six people are talking about things they can and can't do. They can and can't do. Okay, so we are going to have this speaking practice in groups so you can discuss. I think Ben can swim. Vamos a hablar con sus compañeros sobre habilidades usando el nombre de la persona. Okay, for number one, I think can, I think Ben can swim. ¿Cómo sería la número dos? Sara, ¿qué podemos decir de Sara? Sara can fix cars. Can. cars. Mm -hmm. Very good. How about number three, Diane? Tell me names. Diane can sing. Diane can She cannot sing. Okay, it's. She cannot sing. How about number four, Jeff? Jeff can ice skate. Ice skate. How about Jeff? He can or can't? Can't. Can't. Um, can't. Of course, he cannot. Can't. Okay, he can't. Lisa, tell me the information about Lisa. Lisa can't play the piano. Yeah, I guess she can. Lisa can play the piano, or she is saying, "I can play the piano." She's giving the personal information. Let me see, let's go with the last one, Megan. Tell me the information about Megan. Megan can cook. I look at her face, veamos su cara. She's like, oh, I'm in trouble. I can't cook. So look at the verbs that we have. ¿Qué verbos tenemos? Swim, fix car, fix car, Cook. So I need you to give this information to your classmates. Quiero que compañeros intercambien usando estos seis verbos. Les comparto ahorita la imagen. Y ese es solo practice, speaking practice. Vamos a hablar nada más, speaking practice que lo que pueden hacer y qué es lo que ustedes no pueden hacer. Speaking practice. So, let's go to the breakup room. Let's do it in pairs. Hagámoslo en parejas, ¿ok? So you can have time to practice. Here we go. Join your groups right now. This is just a speaking practice. Lo que pueden y no pueden hacer. Igual a la actividad que acabamos de ver. Here we go. You can check what's up right now. Okay, Jancy, go. Irma, Wendy, go. Catherine, Carmen, go. Marvin, go, please. Jose Samuel. Very good. Saira, you can go. Irma and Wendy, please. I'm just missing Wendy Irma. Are you having problems, girls? Tenemos problemas para entrar, Wendy. Hola, hola. Hola, ¿qué pasó? Estamos trabajando en grupos, en los rooms. ¿Tenemos problemas para ingresar? No. Sí, es que no me da mucha señal, entonces se me sale y dice conectando y vuelvo a entrar y así. Bien. ¿Y, ¿Y cómo estamos con Irma? Irma, 
tendrá el mismo problema, Irma, si es así, para que ustedes trabajen acá, en la sesión principal, ¿ok? Y así puedan discutir. Irma, are you there, Irma? I guess she's not. Si no, practiquemos. Veamos, Wendy. Comparto la pantalla. Can oh. and can't. La idea es practicar. ¿Qué podemos y qué no podemos hacer? Can and can't. There we go. Ahí está Irma. Entonces, look, I have six people. Six people, they are talking about things they can and can't do. In my case, veamos el primero. Swing. I can't swing. And you, Wendy? Um, I can't swing. Ah, okay. Don't forget, can't. Un poco más alargado can't. cuando no podemos. Yes, I can't swing. swim. Number two. Can. I, yes, in my case, number two, I can't fix cars. In you, Wendy? I can't fix cars. Okay. Number three. I can't sink. I cannot. <laughs> and you say <laughs> the same, right? Um, oh, no, no, no. And number four, I can't ice skate. In you? I can't I escape. Okay, okay. And number five, no, I can't play the piano. <laughs> I can't play the piano. And number six, oh my God, it's a shame. I can't cook. I try, but I can't. I can't cook. And you? I can't cook. Okay, so... ¿Qué significa? No podemos hacer ninguna. I guess, right? So, yes. The, la, la última. Cook, right? Okay. In my case, no, I no can't can. cook. I can't. So, give me examples about things that I can do. Veamos qué puedo hacer. I can. Oh, no. Come on. ¿Qué me pasa? ¿Qué pasa, teacher? I can. Let's say I can't speak English, okay? And you, Wendy? Affirmative. Mm. Uh, perdón, excuse me. I can speak English, and you? Vemos más ejemplos, I can or can't. Hmm? I can't speak English. No, ¿por qué can't? Yo escuché can't, yo creo que es can. <laughs> can't. Mm -hmm. I can't speak English. You can't, very good. Give me one more example. Um, um, I can learn English. I can, okay. English. Very yes. good. Very good. Can't, can't. So, don't forget to practice. Voy a visitar a los compañeros y ya regreso en un minuto, ¿ok? You did an excellent job. Okay. Wendy. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let's see, I can, I can write, I can walk, I can think, I can, <laughs> podemos lo básico, <laughs> uh, I cannot, maybe I can draw, I think, I can paint, paint, yeah, drawing, Digamos más pintar que dibujar. Okay. <laughs> um, I can draw in a paint. Did you finish, girls? Did you finish? Yes, yes. Yes. 
Pero que tuvieron en la mayoría afirmativas o negativas. Cosas que podemos hacer. Pues creo que parejo. Ah, oh, wow, ¿eh? Ok, ok. So let's go back. Vamos ya a la sala principal, ok? Go. Ok, it's time to come back. Let's wait for your classmates. There they come. So class, tell me your information. Can't and can't. Estuvimos practicando con Wendy acá. Híjole. A mí me salieron todas negativas. Wow. Imagine. No había pensado en eso. So, swim, fix cars, sing, ice skate, play the piano and cook. I can't do any of these activities. Imagine, I can't. So I want to listen to you about the first one. Swim, swim, number one, swim. Tell me eh, about the sixth one. Dígame sobre las seis. Quiero escuchar Katia. Vamos, six examples right now. Uh, I can swim. I can't fix cars. I can't sign, sing. Mm -hmm. I can't I skate. I can't play the piano and I can't cook. Okay, imagine. Tell me, Carmen Guadalupe, your examples, please. Six examples, go. Yes. Uh, I can't meet. I can't fix cards. I can't uh, think, I can't, uh, I can't, I can't fly the piano, I can't cook. I can't cook, oh, imagine, 50 and 50. Carlos Manuel and you, tell me about these six activities using can and can't, go. Okay, I can't sing. I can't fix cards. I can't sing. Okay. I can't ice skate. Uh -huh. I can't play the piano. I can't cook. Okay, so how many with can and how many with can't? Or todas con can't? <laughs> yes, right? Clase, quiero que vayan identificando cuántas son afirmativas y cuántas negativas. A ver si vamos distinguiendo ese sonido. Can and can. So imagine with Carlos. Herson, tell me about you, please. Go. I can swim. I can't fix cars. Okay. I can sing. I can't I skid. Uh -huh. I can't play the piano, I can cook. And I can cook. So how many? How many did you hear with can and how many with can't? Clase, ¿cuántas escucharon con can y cuántas con can't? Yo escuché todas con can. <laughs> Is that correct, Herson? No. No. Uh, the <laughs> last six is can. Three can. can. Uh-huh. So, three, 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 yes, three. Okay, let's practice with Amilcar. Identifiquemos cuáles afirmativos y cuáles negativas. Go, Amilcar. It's your time to practice. Okay, uh, I can swimming, I, I can fish car, I can uh, sing, I can ice skate, I can play piano, I can cook. So class, tell me how many affirmative and how many negative did you hear? Six affirmative. Five affirmative. No, four affirmative. Four oh, affirmative. Four. Two negative. Ah. 
No. No, right? Three. Three negative. Three negative three and three affirmative. Exactly. Three and three. So, listen, we need to practice pronunciation and listening at the first time. Imagine. Imagine si estuviéramos hablando con alguien más. I can't fix cars. No puedo reparar carros. Y le dicen no ustedes, ah, ok, entonces, yes, fix my car. Repara mi carro. Y pues le nos saldría más caro. So, can and can't. Hagamos lo que les decía. Can, corto, can't. Un poco más largo. No tengan miedo a pronunciar. Un poco más extendidos. Let's see. Jancy, go ahead, please. Jancy? ¿Yo qué? ¿Qué hago? Just tell me your information. Oh, okay. Take example. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, I can cook, I can sing, I can a little, I can gymnastic, I can speak in English, I can what can I do? Well, I can't swim. I um, I can't speak French. Oh, you can't. Yeah. Um, I can. I can paint. I don't know what. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So, she was giving us some extra examples using can. So I need you to be careful with this one, okay? Don't forget, el verbo después de can't va en su forma natural, okay? Swim. No podemos decir, I can swimming. No, sería swim. I can swim. Fix. Sing. Okay, el verbo no cambia. Luego del auxiliar, en este caso, can't, no cambia. I can swim. I can fix car. I can sing. The same with can't. Okay. So let me ask you. I'm going to give you some examples and you tell me can or can't. For example, can you drive a car? Drive no, a I car. Can't. Yes, I can drive a car. Okay, yes, Stacey, she, she says, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ingrid says, no, I can't. Yes, anybody? No, I can't. I can. I can drive yes, a car. I can, I can yes. drive a car as well. Yes, can. Cook. Cook. I can. I can. I can. I can't. I can. I can. I can. I can. So, all right. Okay. Um, play basketball. Play basketball. I can. I no, can. I can. can. Yes, no, I can. I can. No, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, really interesting. Um, what else? Let me check my examples here. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. No, I can. No, I can. can. No, I can. Play the no, I can't play the guitar. No, I can't as well. My dad, he plays the guitar, but I can't not play soccer. Play soccer. Yeah, maybe. Yes, I can't. Catherine says, no, I can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Jaime, yes, I can. He says, play soccer. Yes. Interesting. Um. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Yes, I can ride a bike. No, I can't. No, can't. Yeah, ride a bike. Yes, I can't. No, I cannot. Okay, the end. And the last one, let me ask you about. Give me another example, teacher. Speak English. Speak English. Yes, I can. I speak oh, English. Everybody can speak, speak English. Yeah. No, yes, I can't can. be confident. No, I can. no. Yes, I, no. Come on, I can. I can yeah. speak English. 
está bien que les preguntara Russian, Japanese, Chinese, ahí sí se las valgo. No, I can't. But English, we are in the process. So say it. Yes, I can. I can't speak English. Of course, teacher, I can't speak English. Okay? That's the attitude. <laughs> Ustedes no se lo creen. ¿Quién más se lo va a creer? Nadie. Yes, I can. So look, I have another example for you. This class, you're going to work with groups, okay? To speak and to practice. And I have some sentences. If you notice, we have a checked to indicate that is affirmative and we have an X to express that is negative. Si se fijan a la par, tiene un cheque y una X. Si vemos un check, ¿qué significa? Can or can't? Can. 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 Affirmative. And if you notice, if we have an X, it's going to mean that it's can. 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 So, this is a contrast. Olivia can ride a bike, comma, but she but can't drive a, car. drive a car. We are making contrast. Estamos contrastando contra lo que podemos y lo que no podemos. So, quiero que ustedes me expresen estas ideas. Ambas, affirmative and negative. But, teacher, ¿qué si tengo dos affirmative? Look, I have a check and I have a check. ¿Qué usaría entonces? Also or in. And vamos a usar Juan can. can play the piano can 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 play and in. And for can can play. Play. Can play the piano. Very good. So for number two and for number five, vamos a utilizar esta expresión and. Because we have two affirmative ideas. And for number three, four, and six, we are going to use the expression but. Vamos a contrastar. Bien, volvemos a los grupos y les comparto esto también. So, escribamos en su cuaderno. Hoy sí hay mucha práctica. Here we go. Let me see. I'm going to make the groups again. Big groups. Aquí vamos. Five groups. Join it now. Can and can't. Can and can't. I'm going to be visiting your groups. If you have questions, just let me know, okay? Okay, I'm just missing Irma, very good. Sería, eh, si con esto que está aquí, en lo que mandó la, la teacher, sí. sería, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, 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 eso es. Uh, sí, eso lo completaron. Como, sí, ¿dónde vive? Ok, la primera ya está, hagamos la segunda. A ver, las dos son positivas, entonces vamos a ocupar el en. Y Juan sería el sujeto. A ver. Juan can play the piano. And he can play the violin. Mm -hmm. Ok. The next one is... Él la están anotando o algo. Sí. Yes. Okay. La otra sería Matt and Drew. 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 A ver cómo se pronuncia. Ken. Art. 
Can act. Y dice que no puede cantar. Sería, but he can't. Pero en el tres no son dos personas, no sería de ellos. No está hablando de ellos. Oh, oh, sí, sí, sí. sí, sí. Ah, tomé el último. Ajá. Sí, es cierto. Ok. But sería, but they, they can. can. Yes, this is a group work, speaking time. Go girls, in Gerson, go. Speaking time. Vamos, es entre todos, ok? Solo estoy observándolos, go. Uh, the six, Sería, uh, Cody, Kent, Ray, Poems, but she can uh, tell good job, joke, no sé cómo es, podcast, algo así. Sí, sería, entonces sería Matt and Andrew uh, can act, uh, but they can, act, but can, they can sing. sing. Alicia no. Alicia can snowboard. 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 But she can. Uh, positive. No. Can. Sería. But, but she can. I skate. I skate. Uh -huh. eh, la otra sería. La cinco sería. Uh, ben, you can take good photos and edit video. And you can ten. edit video. Uh -huh. No, and we sería. We, no, no, and he. Ajá, ajá. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And he. 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 she, she can she can I escape okay no sé si estará bien así yes thank you Arpin este la siguiente queda he can take good, good photos y en esta parte yo tengo duda, yo creo que se puede también colocar, por ejemplo, en edit videos y también de la otra forma, en he can edit videos, creo yo, no sé. Es de preguntarle a la teacher. Yes, that's okay. I'm here. Hola, teacher. So don't forget that I told you uh, in this one, number five, right? Number five. Yes. Mm -hmm. As we have two affirmative sentences, we are going to use and. Ben can take good photos and edit videos. Edit videos. Solo le damos la continuidad a las dos expresiones and. Mm -hmm. so eh, ajá. Entonces and edit videos. Ahora yes. sí quedaría, verdad. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Ah, okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Entonces la número dos le tenemos que quitar el Ken que le habíamos puesto. Sí, así es. Sí, quedaría. One play. True. Pueden actuar. Ajá. Pero no pueden cantar. Pueden cantar. But they can't sing. Yes. Ajá, yes. La última, ¿verdad que nos quedó? Cory, Ken, 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 
and can tell good jokes. No, no, no. no sería bad. Bad teacher. Eh, ah, sí, sí, porque eh, la primera tiene. Uh, entonces, uh -huh. la primera sería bad, can't. Sí, bad. Can't. La primera es, sí, can. Que no puede. Ajá, acabar por ahí. Pero, y ya luego, and, pero ella puede but, decir buenos chistes. Sí. Un chiste bueno. Ah. Sí, así está bien. Ah, va. Did you finish class? Yes. Yes, yes, yes you did. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, time to go back. But before we check those sentences, we need to check the attendance, okay? So let me see. Today is um, April 5th, Martes 5, and I'm ready to call the attendance. Chicos, medicines here or present? Antes de chequear las oraciones, okay? So, Amilcar Edgardo Hernández. Okay. Bernardo Antonio Herrera. Very good. Carlos Manuel Ramos. Present. Very good. Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Carmen Lisette Santillana. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset López. Present teacher. Delmi Carolina Sosa. Present teacher. Emma Yamile Corea. Present. Excellent. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Gerson Antonio Hernández. I'm here. Ingrid Yamile Arias. Present. Irma Raquel García. Present. Jaime Osvaldo Cortés. Present. José Samuel Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Juliana Bergeli Martínez. Juliana, let me see. Do you see Juliana in the class? No, she isn't. She's not, right? Karen Ivet Callejas. Present. Catherine Abigail Garcia. Present. Catherine Alicia Martinez. Present. Katia Elizabeth Serrano. Present. Kelly Magdalena Rivera. Kelly, okay. Marina del Carmen Menéndez. Present. Marvin Raimundo Pinto. Present, teacher. Nereida Patricia González. Present. Stacy Nicole Rivera. I'm here. Very good. Wendy del Carmen Gonzalez. Present. Jancy Andrea Melendez. Present. And Zaira Jamilet Figueroa. Present. 
¿Alguien que lo haya mencionado? ¿O todos estamos presentes? Ok, Amilka Hernández, aquí estamos. Bien, present, aquí estamos. ¿Alguien más? Nobody else? Not right. So, tell me the information. Can and can't. Remember that we have a different ideas. Number two. Who can help me out with number two? Number two, we have Juan. Go ahead, please. Juan. Juan can play the piano and he can play the violin. Okay, Juan can play the piano and the violin. We can express this in a single idea. No es necesario también repetir can and can't. Cuando decimos and, ya nos está indicando que también puede, ok? And. So, Juan can play the piano and the violin. Number three, Jose Samuel, go. Matt and Drew mm -hmm. can act. Can act. But. Can, but, can, uh -huh. sing. Uh -huh. Agreguémosle un sujeto aquí, but they can, but they can, uh -huh. sing. Uh -huh. Para que no solo quede el verbo, solo, ok, but they can, Sing. Ese sería nuestro sujeto. They. Let me check number four. Saira, please. Saira. Number four. Alicia can snowboard. She can ice skate. Snowboard. She can. But she can't. Very good. She can't ice skate. Very good job. Amilka, you can continue with number five. He's raising okay. his hand. Very good. Uh, ben can take a good photo. Um, he can uh, edit video. Very good job. Ben is a subject, can take good photo and he can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. ok, si quieren pongamos también la forma completa para que se vea que se puede también and he can videos. Very good job. How about number okay. six? That's okay, Amilcar. You did a great job. Stacy, go with number six. Uh, Corinne yes. can't write poem. Mm -hmm. uh, but she can tell good jokes. But she can't tell Good jokes. Imagine she can write poems, but she can tell jokes. Wow, interesting information. Can't and can't. Questions about this class. Preguntas sobre esto. Está claro el contraste que podemos generar entre lo que puedo y no puedo hacer. Cuando tengo dos afirmativas o dos negativas, puede ser también. No es necesario yeah. repetir eh, otra vez la misma información. Ok. Can and can't. Very good. Ok. Can and can't. Can't and can't. So, class, let me ask you questions about this. Yes or no? No. No? If not, 
we still have time, we can go and check the conversation and the exercise that we have in the platform. So look at this conversation. I can't, let me see, se llama, I can't think very well. Como nuestra unidad. I can't think very well. Look, this is the conversation. Just listen up. Escuchemos la conversación porque la práctica ya la tuvimos. I can't think very well. Wait. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer. Okay. Questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Okay, look at this conversation. This conversation is between Kayla and Philip. Readings. Reading to get information right now. Tell me about Kayla, what she can and can't do. Veamos que puede y no puede hacer. Busquemos esa información. Go, Kayla. Kayla can't sing, but she can play the piano. There you go. Contraste. ¿Dónde está esa información? Kayla can sing very well, but she can't. Look. Yeah. No, al revés. Dice al revés, dice. Tengamos la información de, esta es sobre Philip. Decimos, Philip can sing very well. Kayla can't. She can't sing at all. You see? How about play the piano? Kayla can, she can. play the piano. Exactly. She can play the piano. So we have the negative, can't sing, but she can play the piano. How about Philip? ¿Qué es la información que tenemos de él? Solo que puede cantar muy. He can bien. very well. Yeah. He can sing very well. Very good. So, what can we say? Usando la información que acabamos de aprender, decimos Kayla can't sing. But, but first, she can. empecemos con lo afirmativo primero, siempre. Kayla. Oh. Can okay. play the piano. Kayla can play the piano, but she can sing very well. But she can't sing at all. Really? Para nada. She can sing mm. at all. Para nada. And how mm. about Philip? Deme la información de Philip y la comparamos con Kayla. Cantar, cantar. Philip can, can sing, sing really well. well. But... Mm, but Kayla, no. okay, but Kayla can't, can't sing at all. It, okay, yeah. so this is important. Look, when we are contrasting, siempre que estamos contrastando, empecemos por la información afirmativa. Y si decimos but, nos va a indicar que le sigue información que es negativa. Okay, yeah. no lo opuesto. Okay. Vamos siempre en ese orden afirmativo. Negative. Si estamos comparando dos personas también, tratemos de llevar esa tendencia affirmative and negative statements. So if you go to the platform, you can look at this one after this conversation. We are going to have the practice. This practice is very easy. Wait. Go to the practice. Knowledge checked. What are you going to do? You need to take a look at the pictures and you are going to write. ¿Qué van a escribir aquí? Can 
si es algo afirmativo o can't. No es completa la oración, solo van a completar usando can't and can't. Aquí está la indicación, can't and can't. Look. Solo van a utilizar esas expresiones, can't and can't. How many examples do we have? One, two, three. Okay, eight examples. Todos ya están completos. So, this is your job for today. Tomorrow we are going to check this part, okay? Preguntas. Preguntas sobre este ejercicio de la plataforma. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Está claro el tema? ¿Necesitamos más práctica mañana? ¿Cómo lo sentimos? Very easy. It's easy, right? Yes, I guess it's easy. This is just a practice. So you can remember it. Yeah. Si no tenemos preguntas, no olviden entrar a la plataforma y nos vemos cuando. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. tomorrow, right? So, thank you so much for joining this class. See you tomorrow. Have a great night, class. Bye-bye. Good night. Uh, Good night to you. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good night.